Hello everybody and welcome to uh, that new video uh, in which I will show you how to uh, protect uh, a cell without protecting the entire worksheet. Um, what we have here is uh, um, a little model uh, that calculates the uh, equivalent Canadian rate uh, given the uh, compounding period. Mm, you see, uh, when we change the compounding period, uh, the, the equivalent uh, rate changes. Uh, maybe mm, in uh, some future video, uh, I will show you uh, why that model behaves like that. But uh, today, our main goal uh, is to focus on now on a, on a simple method um, that uh, will allow uh, you to protect a cell without uh, protecting the entire worksheet. First of all, uh, we have to identify um, the cells uh, inside our worksheet that contains some kind of formulas. Um, to do that, we go into the Home tab, we identify the Find and Select icon, we press it, and then we press the Go to Special. The Go to Special box appears, we select Formulas. Uh, when we press OK, Excel uh, uh, selects all the cells inside the worksheet that contains some kind of formula. Um, uh, after that, um, we go into the uh, data tab, we, pre uh, we select data tab. Inside the data tab, we uh, identify the data validation menu and we press the data validation uh, icon. Uh, the data validation box appears we first go uh, into the settings tab we uh, in the allow menu we uh, find the custom and we select it and then in the formula uh, uh, inside the formula <coughs> we uh, type uh, the equal sign followed by mm, two quotation marks uh, we, uh, we can customize uh, an input message, we can mm, like that, for example, mm, that cell can't be changed. Then we, uh, we go into the error alert. alert. And uh, we can customize even the message that Excel uh, will show when we try to uh, insert some kind of, of data that uh, it is not allowed in the cell that we are validating. Uh, for example, uh, we, can, uh, uh, we can type some, some highly imaginative message like um, um, you can't change that cell. OK, after all these uh, settings, we press OK. And uh, the first thing that we notice is that when we select uh, a cell that, is, uh, uh, that contains a formula, uh, Excel displays the, uh, our warning message. Uh, and when we try to uh, insert some, some formula uh, inside uh, the validated cell, for, like, like that, for example, and we press Enter, Excel will show you uh, we show us the, uh, uh, <laughs> the error message with our customized message. Uh, you see uh, that was uh, uh, a very uh, simple and effective way 
uh, in which you can uh, protect uh, uh, the cells inside your worksheet uh, that contains uh, some formulas without protecting the entire worksheet. Uh, I hope that uh, uh, this video will be useful for you uh, and uh, I also hope to see you in the next video.